All right, folks, it's Invasive Species Week, and I'm here with Chris Daly, who's the horticulture manager at the Jacksonville Zoo. And uh, Chris, we're, we're looking for air potatoes. It's a plant that grows really well here in Florida, uh, so well that it's, it overtakes uh, the native plants in the natural ecosystem and has some, some pretty bad effects on the ecosystem. And now, we're, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and do our part. We're gonna, we're gonna try and find some uh, around here. How, what are you looking for? You look for uh, the, the small little vine first. Yeah, this is a young vine growing on this uh, sycamore tree. And if this if this vine were left unchecked, it would it would continue growing on the sycamore tree, covered up, block sunlight to the leaves, uh, and eventually and, and kill could, it. Could could eventually kill that tree um, and and uh, displace it. This is not the plant. Okay. This is a, a native vine. The bigger vine belongs here, and this is the vine of the air potato. It's a very thin vine ecosystem all around us is connected and yeah. other animals rely off of the trees that these would be killing. And yeah, animals rely on plants and plants rely on animals. Yeah. Yeah, have to make that connection. And these don't have a native uh, predator. Right, and that's what that's why they grow so well here is there is there's nothing here that, that eats these. There's nothing here that is con that can control these. Um, in Asia there is um, there's a beetle that controls them, but that that beetle does not naturally occur here in Florida. You can see on the vine there's some there's some potatoes still oh, yeah, on this vine, right so there. we would we would harvest these little potatoes. Pop and, those off. I mean, this is a tiny little. That given time would have grown into something this big, and either one of these fall into the ground. The big one or the little one, it'll grow a new plant. They got it. Well, there's vines here. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's one. I tell you, if they were painted pastel colors. You, you could probably get a lot of kids out here searching for these things. Yeah. But they're, they're, uh, they're like brown Easter eggs, folks. People may have these plants growing in their yard and not realize that it, it's a problem. I mean, it's a beautiful plant. It's a, it's a very shiny, heart-shaped leaf, grows up in the trees, looks very tropical. Um, uh, if you have it in your yard, get rid of it. The state of Florida spends close to $200 million of our tax money on invasive plants uh, reduction uh, throughout each year. And the country spends, I think it was 130 billion, with a B, billion dollars annually on invasive uh, plants reduction around the country. So maybe just look at this as uh, dip it into your pocketbook. And then you'd want to get rid of it, right? This particular variety is not edible. In fact, it's uh, possibly toxic. So please don't eat it. <laughs> a toxic. Probably should have. Probably should have asked that before <laughs> I tried that. Here's another one right here. Bam! Right there. Look at that. So this is like my tax dollars. I got nine air potatoes here. Yeah. This is like uh, my tax dollars that the state would be using. So that's what I'm gonna. This is how I'm gonna get my refund from the state. Maybe if I pick up a bunch of air potatoes, the state will give me some of my tax dollars back and not spend it on. Probably not. No. All right. Wishful thinking. Whatever. Mm -hmm.